welcome to a vlog. I started this vlog days ago um, whilst we were prepping to get a puppy. As you can very clearly see, I now have said puppy. <laughs> By the time this vlog goes up though, I'm sure you'll all be very familiar with Mr. Finn. Here he is. You will have seen plenty of b-roll of him jumping around already, I'm pretty sure. So, let me tell you a little bit about Finn. <laughs> um, I have always wanted a Shiba Inu, like, forever. I've always wanted one. And Jake took a little bit of convincing, but after we did plenty of research into the breed, um, he agreed that he wanted one too. Um... And as we had kind of just finished doing up the garden and the house was kind of getting in decent shape, it was a bit like, can we get a dog? And he caved and said we could get a dog. Because I definitely wanted one from like, as soon as we got the house, basically. And Jake was like, oh, it's too much work to do, especially with the garden. We finished doing the work on the garden. We've re-fenced it, re-patioed it. We've got some turf down. Um, the new shed is like a fraction of the size of the other one so the garden now looks quite a bit bigger than it was um, and with that being done I think Jake finally caved and was like yeah we can get a dog so I started researching where I could get a little Shiba Inu and um, after hours and hours on the computer I found Finn's litter and we went to view Finn's litter and his mum and all of that good stuff and we uh, we got a puppy <laughs> and here he is he is nine weeks old his name is Finn F-I-N-N -N. I've created an Instagram account for him Fantastic Mr Fox I will link it down below if you want to follow Finn's adventures um, but he will be in every vlog I do now. Um, but yeah, I got a dog. So I've been really busy for the last however long. I think the first clip of this vlog was a week ago today, I think. Um, and then we picked Finn up on Saturday and it's now Friday again. So for the last week, pretty much, I've just been getting to know Finn, playing with him, cuddling with him, training him. He can do sit and he's quite trained and toilet trained, but he's made such amazing progress and he's such a cute little boy. Just look at him. I love him so much. He means the world to me and I honestly think he's going to make such a massive difference. He already has made such a massive difference to my life. He means the world to me already. I've been saying for months and months that I think getting a dog will really help with my depression. Um, and I know it's probably not necessarily the most advised thing, but there is evidence to say that animals make your mental health better. <laughs> um, and I've wanted one forever. And with me being like on reduced hours at work, working from home, like kind of for the foreseeable it made so much sense and now we have him and i'm in love and i've never been so happy so there you go he will be always in the videos now you good boy love him and his little feet He's just the cutest thing in the world. I do have some reading updates for you. Um, I don't know what I read last time we spoke, but I'm supposed to be reading for whatever thon, and um, I haven't done a lot. Oh, Jake's just got home. I will take you up to the library in a bit and um, talk you through what I have read and what my reading plans are.
Hello, I said I would take you up to the library to discuss my reading after you've met my little Finn. Um, I don't think I've vlogged any of June, so let's just go over all of my June reading. Um, my plan for Whatever You Want A Thon, hosted by Maddie. I'm a Sunset Scholar, obviously. Sunset Scholars, for the win. Um, my pledge for that was six books. And I can report by the 24th of June, which is the date I'm filming this clip, um, I have read four. Which isn't great. These are the four that I have read. So we started off the month with The Sad Ghost Club 2. Um, I enjoyed this. It was cute. It was quick. I needed something to boost me back into thinking, yeah, you know how to read. You can finish a book. Obviously it is a comic, there's not many words in this whatsoever, um, but this is about people with anxiety, depression, um, I say people, ghosts, um, coming together and finding their kindred spirits and starting the sad ghost club, supporting each other, helping each other. It's really heartwarming, very sweet, very relatable. I like it a whole heck and ton. I read that. Then I moved on to Bad Gods. I actually started this a long time ago um, and it took me ages to read but this was a strange book but I actually thoroughly enjoyed it um, and if there is an if there is a sequel to this I I would read it. This is about a woman called Babylon Steel who runs a brothel um, however, she has a very mysterious past that she hides from a lot of the people that are in her present life. Um, a sex worker is murdered, a girl goes missing, and Babylon is asked to help investigate what is going on, what's happened, why these things are happening, how they're correlated, um, what is going on in Scalentine, which is place that this is set. Um, there is a centipede type creature with four boobs, there is a lizard type man with two penises, um, and it's set in a brothel so you know it's got some strange content in there. Um, but on top of that it's a lot about the corruption of the godlike figures in this world um as well as being a bit of a murder mystery kidnap mystery but also unraveling babylon's past i won't say too much more i enjoyed it i don't know if i would say it's like good or well written but it was entertaining there we go i read that one I then picked up The Swordsman's Lament by G.M. White. Sadly, I DNF'd this one about halfway, um, but I'm still counting it as like a book read because I've made the active decision to stop reading it, you know what I mean? So I'm still going to tell you about it. Um, but yeah, I DNF'd this one. This one was boring, quite simply. This is a murder mystery and our main character is framed for the murder of the prince. He's supposedly really close to the royal family um, and he's framed for the murder of the prince and he has to work out who actually did it or he will be hung for his crime that he didn't commit. But I was just so bored. I don't know what it was. This is pitched as like comparable to Sebastian de Castell so I don't know if like it was just way too hyped up in my head to be something great but it's just like not on that level and I was bored, I didn't find myself drawn to it, I didn't want to pick it back up so I DNF'd it. I'm really sorry. Um, and then the latest one that I finished is City of Dragons which was a really cute middle grade graphic novel about a young girl who is given an egg that hatches into a dragon which opens up a whole new side to life that she didn't know existed. But how cute is this? This was really great. I enjoyed this one a lot. It was good fun. Of the four of these books, I think this is probably my favourite one, followed by Bad Gods, and then 
Sad Ghost Club. And then the one I DNF'd, obviously. But yeah, four books, done. Um, which means I am in a position to pick up a new book. Now, I have two in front of me that I should read, but that right now I really don't want to. And that is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. This is my Patreon buddy read pick. This is the beautiful Fairy Loot edition. It is stunning. Um, but I don't think I'm going to like this. My patrons don't think I'm going to like this. This is going to be interesting. Um, and then I also have More Due by Alex Phoebe, which is the book underscore club dot JPEGs book club, which is a Patreon book club that me, Pris, Gavin and Steph host together. Um, I am looking forward to this, but I've heard mixed things about it, so I don't really know what to expect, but I still think that I might like it, but I'm just a little bit intimidated by it at the minute, and I don't want to start it right now. So they're the ones I should be reading. However, I want to read something quicker. Maybe I'm leaning towards another graphic novel or something to just sit and read through tonight. Let me think about it. I'll come back to you in a couple of minutes. I have made my choice. Could be a surprising choice, but I've actually decided I'm going to pick up The Promised Neverland, um, which is a manga. I don't read a lot, if any, manga, so we will see. I know this is highly recommended by Jess. She'll be very happy to see me read this, Jess. I'm reading it. But yeah, I don't know what to expect from this. I am not going to read the blurb or anything to find out because I kind of want to go into this not knowing and just see where it takes me because I'm sure it's probably not going to be what I would possibly expect it to be. So not knowing what I expect it to be is probably the best way to go about this. Does that make any sense? Anyway, it's a manga, so hopefully I can read it all tonight and then maybe I'll be interested in picking up another volume. Who knows? But yeah, let's stick my bookmark in there. I'm going to give this one a go and I'm going to go downstairs and cuddle up with my puppy whilst I read it. Mr. Man had his jabs today. Or, I was going to say or jab, but it was jabs. Because they had to do it twice. Because he wriggled too much the first time. And it all came out. <laughs> he was miserable about it. Probably shouldn't be filming him. Licking his... Licking his bits. But there we are. Anyway, hello. Um, it's the 30th of June now. This vlog has been very long. And very strange. <laughs> Um, but it was my birthday yesterday. I filmed a big old birthday unboxing, which with any luck will be up before this vlog is. However, a couple of bits have arrived outside of that today, because obviously I filmed that yesterday. So thank you to Larissa for volume nine of Pokemon. I'm very excited to read all of the Pokemon. And Jess for the shirt and the crystals. Oh my god, the little Selenite Moon bowl is beautiful so thank you so much um, and if anything else continues to arrive outside of that boxing that boxing that unboxing or you know if if I've missed anything or anything like that um just thank you to everyone who sent me anything thank you to everyone for the birthday wishes and the birthday tweets and comments and all of that good stuff. It was a fantastic day. I ate lots of Mexican food um, and a lot of gifts ended up being for Mr. Man. He's chewing one of them now. <laughs> but yeah, he's had a horrible morning. Yeah, he's had a horrible morning with me forcing him to the vet and he's been crying a lot today. But he did have a really long nap and he has woken up now feeling a little bit better I think. He's behaving a little bit more like himself which is good. But yeah, thought I had better come and chat to you. I'm pretty sure last time I spoke to you I said I was going to go and read The Promised Neverland Volume 1. I have done that. That has happened. Um, it was weird. 
not what I expected, but I don't know what I was expecting, but it was strange. Don't know if I will continue the series. Convince me. Like, I felt like after we'd got, like, the plot twist or the, like, I suppose main point of the plot after we'd got that, it became a little bit repetitive and I can imagine the rest of the series maybe being a bit repetitive, but let me know. I'm open to be convinced. Um, after that I then read Pokemon Journeys Volume 1, which I loved, and I'm really in the mood to consume a whole lot of Pokemon at the minute, so that was great. I had a good time, which actually took me up to my six book target for whateverthon, so success. I have then started the Atlas 6. I'm about 150 pages into the Atlas 6, and at this point I thought I would have DNF'd it, to be honest. The dog is staring at me, probably thinking, Mum, who are you talking to? Hey? Who am I talking to? <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought I would DNF the Atlas 6 pretty quickly, and I haven't yet. So there's that. I'm hoping to finish it today because it's the last day of June. Um, so I might do some like intense reading tonight and try and finish it. Um, and also I'm uploading TBR Pursuit today as well because I haven't done that in a couple of months. So I'm really excited about that too. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a bit of a reading update and in general an update. And I'm hoping if I finish the Atlas 6 that that will be the end of this vlog because this vlog has gone on for ages, but I feel like I haven't filmed much, it's just been a really long period of time. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try and read tonight, and also look after my upset puppy, who <laughs> apparently isn't very upset at all. As soon as I put the camera on him, he stops. Oh no, he's still going. Oh, there we go, now he stopped. Isn't he a good boy? Finn! Poor oh, Finn. There you go. He really enjoys that toy as well, which was another new one for him. Lots for him. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Look at my beautiful boy. He's my beautiful boy. Oh, yes you are. You are my beautiful boy. You're so pretty. You're so pretty, Finn. I love you. I love you so much. Don't you me. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, big yawn. Sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. He's getting so big. Sleepy. Hello. It is way beyond time for me to wrap up this vlog. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> Um, I am still as far in the Atlas 6 as whenever I spoke to you last. However, I do have some other reading updates to give you. I have started my July TBR. We're a little bit into July now. Um, just like a couple of days. But I have freshly dyed my hair. I have not made any more progress in the Atlas 6, but I haven't DNF'd it. I have DNF'd more due. This was the book pick for book underscore club dot jpegs. Mine, Pris, Gavin and Steph's Patreon collaborative book club. Uh, basically, child abuse. Like, trigger for child abuse. I can't, I can't do that. Like, any form of domestic abuse, I really cannot do. Like, a parent to a child, I just, I just can't. So, I uh, felt really icky and DNF'd the book. I've also been told that it is horrifically boring and I didn't see anyone give it above a generous three stars. So I don't feel too bad about DNFing this one. People didn't seem to have a great time with it, so it is what it is. Job done. To make myself feel better after that, I read Pokemon Journeys Volume 2. I am loving this. I've got the first one here still as well, so I'm now like up to date with Pokemon Journeys. Very much looking forward to the third one and not sure when that comes out but looking forward to it. I love Pokemon. I'm really happy to be reading a Pokemon manga. I just need to consume more of it but yeah happy. Enjoyed that. And then I finally got around to reading Jungle Nama which I really enjoyed. It's told in verse, very 
lyrical, very beautiful. I enjoyed it a lot. Definitely full of like the morals of traditional folk tales, and this is a retelling of. It did say at the back what it's a retelling of. Um, the Legend of Bon Bibi, Bon Bibi, um, which is a tale popular in the villages of the Sundarban, which lies at the heart of the novel of the Hungry Tide. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed this. I would recommend this. It didn't take long to read at all, but if you like like traditional folktale vibes, this was very good. I liked it quite a lot. Very glad to have read it. So there's the reading updates I do have for you, but I haven't made any more progress in the Atlas 6. I'm still going to be reading it. I feel like it's probably going to be my graveyard book for Yalk, because it's probably still going to be the one I'm currently reading when I go to Yalk. So uh, we'll see what happens to it. But yeah. Anyway, as I say, this vlog has been like excessively long time span wise. I don't know how long it is edited down wise, but time span wise it's been very long. And the whole point of this vlog really was to introduce you to Finn. You've just also had random reading updates throughout it. So there you go. Long story short, in June I got a puppy and I am the happiest I have been in a long time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down below, all of that good stuff. If you fancy subscribing, I would be eternally grateful for that if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever comes next. Bye!